Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be um, a tutorial on these nails that I did recently for London Olympia where I was with um, the Magpie Beauty team. So we're going to be using all Magpie Beauty products so and I've had quite a few requests on how to do them. So I'm going to do them on nail pops for you because obviously I've already done them and I didn't film it when I was doing them because I just did it sort of one nail at a time. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do them on nail pops but I'll show you how to do each one of these nails. So for today I'm going to be using OPI gel colour in Lincoln Park After Dark and do you have this colour in Stockholm. You will also need a sort of sheer pink colour as well um, to do the sort of negative space nails um, but I won't use that on the nail pops because it's just a bit of a waste if I'm honest. Um, but you can just use sort of two coats of sheer pink, whichever one you want to use. Then the top coat that I'm going to be using is my OPI gel colour top coat. Then for glitters today, we've got um, Magpie Glitter Patsy Bluebell and then we've got Magpie Dust Iris and this is part of the Too Faced collection. It can only be, only be sold as a set of four and this is the one that we're going to be using for the sort of duochrome nail. Then for stamping today, I've got my Nail Stamping Queen UK in black. I've also got my Dixie Plates Squishy Stamper. And then for stamping plate today, I've got Dixie Plates DP02. I'm going to be using this image down here. Then for the negative space nails, I've actually got OPI Gel Colour Artist Series. And this is a new sort of gel paint product that they've um, recently brought out that I've been testing out. And this is Tari Tari Night. Then I've also just got a She Sells Seashells 7mm nail art brush and a, a thumb palette um, as well to decanter some of the stuff onto. Okay, so for the first nail I'm going to show you um, is going to be what's on my pinky. So this is how to do the sort of duochrome effect with uh, Magpie Too Faced. So I'm going to do two coats of my black gel polish, curing between each layer. Okay, so now that I've done my two layers of black, I'm going to use my OPI gel colour top coat and I'm going to top coat over the whole nail and cure it for 30 seconds in my lamp. So then I'm going to get a dry lint-free wipe. So these are really lint-free. If your lint-free wipes still give off um, some fluff, um, I suggest using something like a wax strip or a kitchen towel, but mine's okay. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to dry wipe the tacky layer from the top coat. So I'm literally just going to scrub over the whole nail getting all of that tacky layer off then we're going to be getting iris from the Too Faced collection just decanted some of it into the lid so and I'm just going to get a makeup sponge I'm just going to dip it into the dust so that there's some on there and I'm literally just going to wipe it all over the nail onto that non tacky surface and it is as easy as that. So then now I'm just going to top coat this nail again twice with my OPI gel top coat, curing in between each layer, then wiping off the tacky layer at the end and we'll move on to the next nail. So then the next nail um, would be my ring finger. So obviously if this was your natural nail you would have put um, your sheer French colour on underneath. I did two coats. I'm then going to get my OPI um, Artist Series gel paint and I'm also going to get my uh, brush and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do all of the outline for the negative space. Then 
Then I'm going to get my um, Ring Thing palette and I'm also going to get my purple gel colour. I'm just going to decant some of it onto the palette. So and this is why the top half and the bottom half here, they're not perfect because basically I'm going to cover them up with the um, gel colour. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, some of my top coat and I'm just going to again going to put that onto the palette. Then I'm going to get um, Patsy by Magpie and I'm just going to get some of the glitter out and just pour it on top of that top coat. Then with my brush just mix it in to make a sort of glitter paste. Then I'm basically just going to spread this out quite evenly over the nail, over the bits where we put the purple. And the reason that I did the base underneath was so that this is more of a sort of glitter top coat. So if there are bits where the glitter is sort of missing, we can... Um, sort of hide that fact up with the base colour which is a sort of pretty good match to the purple just gives it a more solid base then once that's been cured I'm then going to top coat this nail twice curing between each layer so then we're on to the next nail, which is the middle finger here. So again, I'm going to grab my black and I'm going to do two layers of black curing between each layer. Then I'm going to get Bluebell. I'm just going to pour some of that into the lid as well. Then I'm also going to get my Magpie applicator brush and I'll also be using my Magpie duster brush. So then once that second coat's been cured, we're then just going to pat Bluebell into the tacky layer of the colour. So and as you can see, it's already going quite green. But then what we're going to do is we're going to burnish this in, so small circular motions over the nail. And then this is what gives it that lovely blue green shimmer shine looks a bit like a beetle and we're just really rubbing all of that glitter in then with the duster brush i'm going to brush off the excess around the cuticle and free edges then again with my top coat so now this nail has been top coated once and then i'm then going to remove the inhibition layer so and now we're going to just do a stamp on top of the glitter so i'm going to be using this image here so i'm going to get my stamping polish and just put it at the top of the image get my scraper down and sideways get my stamper press straight down and I'm just going to press the nail straight into it like that. Then I'm going to top coat this nail twice, curing between each layer. Then for the next finger, which is the index finger, so again I'm just using my OPI Artist paint and I'm going to do around the cuticle like that then I'm also going to get my black and I'm just going to sort of roughly with my brush Thank you. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my top coat and I'm just going to top coat the section that I painted with the black and cure that in my lamp for 30 seconds. So then we've just top coated this sort of section here. So we're gonna dry wipe that tiny section. You can use a no wipe top coat if you want to. I just prefer to dry wipe. So I'm just going to dry wipe with my lint free wipe in that section there. Just making sure that all the tacky layer is gone. Then I'm going to get iris again and my foundation sponge. Just going to dip it again into the dust. And then I'm just going to put it onto that dry wiped section. Just going to get my um, duster brush just to brush off any excess. So, and then I'm going to grab my gel paints again and my brush, and I'm just gonna go around the edge. Then I'm just going to top coat this nail twice curing in between each layer. Then for the last finger, which is my thumb, is really simple. So I'm just gonna do two coats of my purple color, curing between each layer. For this nail, I'm just gonna pour some Patsy into the lid. Grab my applicator brush again, and I'm just gonna dab it onto the inhibition layer and then just give it a little swipe I'm not actually burnishing this in then with my duster brush I'm just brushing off the excess and then I'm going to top coat this nail twice curing in between each layer so and there you have the finished look so obviously these were very very um, popular <laughs> at um, London Olympia. I got so many compliments over them. Um, everyone was really shocked to find out that this was bluebell over black um, and obviously having iris chromed as well was really effective. So I hope that you liked this tutorial guys. Please like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!